Good morning all. The purpose of today's training session is to introduce the team to the ATP meter. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate, which is a biochemical that's present in any microorganism or biological matter. And it measures it by a term called relative light units, RLU. So to use this device, you've got what we've got here is a calibration control set. There are two test rods you use before running a, a proper test. The negative one should give a reading of 0 to 4, and the positive rod should give a reading of between 40 and 80. And this will confirm that the device is ready to use and correctly calibrated. So we'll power this on. One point to be mindful of, when you're putting a test swab in there, always keep it upright, don't lie it down, as it needs a chemical down the base of the unit. So open the device, We're inserting the negative rod now. Hit OK. Alright, that's correct. So we'll proceed now to the positive rod. And this has fallen in between 40 and 80, so this is correct. Before we start with the live test, I'll just explain some of the details on the screen. Obviously, you've got the program here, so you can set different programs. So you might have a program for a food plant, um, a program for a hotel, a program for a hospital. And basically what that means, you can set the threshold at which what is acceptable and what is unacceptable. Um, industry standard is for a, for a food plant, it must be between, to pass it must be below 30, over 30 is a fail, sorry I'll just, I'll chop that bit out but I'll just keep, keep it going. Um, so just to run through the details on the screen so you understand it, obviously here you've got your program so you can create multiple programs for different applications. So take for example a food plant, industry standard is below 10 is acceptable, over 30 is unacceptable, obviously between 10 and 30 it needs attention. Um, so we'll just switch to that program so you can see what I mean. So as you can see we're on program 0 and it says below 10 acceptable, over 30 unacceptable. And so we'll switch it back to standard, we go to program 1 and that gives us acceptable reading is under, a pass is under 50, anything over 100 is a fail. So we'll run our live test now. So this is our, our test swab. You've got some liquid in the bottom. Don't spill this liquid, just remove the test swab off the top. And then pick a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter area that you want to test and just rub the swab over it applying a fair bit of pressure to make sure you get good contact and then once you've got that put it back into the chamber shake it a little bit then you've got to snap off this that's the wrong one <coughs> it's already been